Hi, I've got another from the Carnegie Prize shortlist today and it's this one, Medusa by Jessie Burton and it's an illustrated version of the story of Medusa and having read Natalie Haynes' Stone Blind I was really interested to see how Jessie Burton reimagines the myth for a young adult audience. Carnegie Medal is for young adult literature. And this one, oh, it is so beautiful. It's the illustrations, which I'll show you later, are absolutely gorgeous. It's almost as a com written as a coming of age. And we have 18 year old Medusa um, living on her isolated island with her two Gorgon sisters. And they've been there four years. It's four years since Athene cursed her. And while her sisters have the power of flight and can disappear and hunt every day, Medusa is left on the island alone apart from her dog. And then one day a stranger arrives in his boat, a young man, and she is torn because she craves companionship, she's lonely. But then again, what will this person think of her appearance, this head of snakes? And Athene also gave her a warning, woe betide any man fool enough to look upon you, which she, at this point, she doesn't understand the meaning of. The stranger is Perseus, and we all know the myth. We all know the story of Medusa and Perseus. But in this one, they talk, and you have two teenagers talking and forming a relationship. Medusa hides behind rock, so he can't see her. And as they talk, as they share secrets, Medusa tells the story of her brutal rape at the hands of Poseidon. She tells Perseus of her mother, Athena's revenge, or sort of, sort of tells him. And Perseus tells him about, tells her about his mother and his quest. But they keep the secrets. He doesn't tell her the truth about her quest, his quest, and she doesn't tell him the truth about how Athena cursed her. And what we have is a very human Medusa, a young girl who is the victim of a horrific rape, who's lonely, who was cast out by her village because of her disfigurement, protected by her sisters, afraid all the time, missing her home, missing the chance to, to have a relationship, to find love. And she goes through all sorts of emotions when she talks to Perseus. Hope, fear, anger, love. This is a super retelling, um, reimagining, because Medusa is allowed to tell her own story and to finally accept her true self. And it's this very sensitive Medusa that we read. It's not a monster. And the illustrations are gorgeous. I don't know if you can catch that one. That's Medusa before the attack and that's Medusa listening to um, to Perseus and she's not a monster she's just got snakes for hair and the f that is a gorgeous image that one so a beautifully illustrated book a beautiful retelling so that is Medusa by Jessie Burton on the Carnegie Medal shortlist. So um, we'll see how it does because I thought this was fantastic. So happy reading. Take care.